doing, buddy? Hey, Jeff, you? this is Michael. Hey, Michael, Michael good to meet you. Michael used to live at 3090 Steel <laughs> Avenue. Okay. And he has uh, multiple uh, mental health issues, yeah. and he had a crack problem. God knows what other problems. <laughs> um, he used to call us six, seven, eight times a night. Called IA on me multiple times for not writing parking tickets on his street. Called me a mother everywhere he went not every time not every time but many many times um slow fast. cfd would not respond to his house without police escort because he had threatened him so many times um i got him probated and that worked for a minute and then you kind of fell off the wagon again but now he's been how long have you been clean uh it's 22 months it was it's June 6th of 2020. Damn near two years. Wow. Completed all these programs. Program for okay. Lighthouse. So what are you doing over here, man? Man, I'm fucking Lighthouse, man. You heard Lighthouse? Is that an outreach or something? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, year-long program. Let's go get your coffee. All right, sounds good. It's a year-long program. It's in Bexley and Reynoldsburg. They okay. got uh, sober living. They got like they got like a hundred houses now for men and women. And you're living in like a group home with those well, people? Well, I've completed it. We have completed. Okay. It. So you go first, man. Sir. <laughs> here, let me mark busy here. All right. One nine three. Can you mark me on a sixteen A at uh, Solvent Hankley's? Where's the coffee at? Yeah. Right Good morning. So you're over, are you in like Reynoldsburg or something? Yeah, I was at 7448 East Main uh, for them uh, for over a year. Get this and go outside. Yeah, you're, they're uh, ready to They'll run. give it to me for free. Ready to run. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Can I get his coffee? Are we good? All right. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, sir. I gotta get some new shoes for this. Huh. Um, you know, the last few days getting wet. So, so where are you actually staying? you have a tent or anything? or? No, I've never done that. Um, shit, man, you know what? I, People okay, letting you so, crash with them? Well, no, not really either. I can, I can sit around sometimes and bring Wait, where's your... Oh, your bag. You left your bag in there. Yeah. I thought we left it out by your car. Yeah. You got me fucked up, I think, sir. <laughs> You're going in the pantry down there. No. Nope. That's, that's the last thing in the I world I want to do. I would have eventually. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I did think that you said it by my car for a minute, and I was like, no, yeah, that's not what it is. I do have this. I found this on the damn road. Yeah. Broke and shit, but. Yeah. I'll away. do something. A good thing to have on you is when you. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. No, not at all. Unless you're trying to fuck with somebody. But yeah. uh, no, so this program, Lighthouse, man, I completed everything. They was going to let me stick around until I got an apartment. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh shit, you called for backup already. No, they just <laughs> come and check on me. Here, I'll tell them. Hey, here, come here and talk to this guy real quick. No, he doesn't. Oh. But he's heard stories. Oh, no shit, they all. Up. Oh, I got some stories for you. Oh, Alright. You got stories for me? I do. You know what I wanted? The night that you got some motherfuckers shot at me. Shot them back. They said that. I was sitting in that cruiser. And they said, that's what we got them. I said, fuck. Oh, that's funny. Remember that? Sure, well. Not really. Everything rolls together. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey, this is my good friend Jeff. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Jeff, you? this is Michael. Hey, nice Michael. Good to meet you. Michael used to live at 3090 Steel <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> okay. And. He has uh, multiple uh, mental health issues, yeah. and he had a crack problem. God knows what other problems. <laughs> um, he used to call us six, seven, eight times a night. Called IA on me multiple times for not writing parking tickets on his street. Called me a motherfucker everywhere he went. Not every time. Not every time, but many, many times. Um, Slow fast. CFD would not respond to his house without police escort because he had threatened them so many times. Um, I got him probated, and that worked for a minute, and then you kind of fell off the wagon again. But now, 
He's been, how long have you been clean? Uh, it's 22 months. It was, it's June 6th of 2020. Been there two years. Wow. Completed all these programs. Program called okay. Lighthouse out, out east, and now they got a one for sub out here. So yeah. Does it look good? Fantastic, dude. Thank you. Yeah. That's what he saw me. He's like, yeah, so that is no way. Him. You remember him? Oh, oh dude, he, I was burned in his brain for a long time. Well, oh, yeah. You your Facebook profile. You made yeah, it. I did. I he, he, used to, he, was, he used to tell the Sergeant B Company Slaughter. guys, he's like, where's that fucking Sergeant Slaudger at, Sergeant motherfucker, Slaughter. and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that slow so, he chased him down when they broke him up. Yeah. Or supposedly broke him up. Yeah. yeah. So I changed my Facebook profile to Sergeant Slaughter just for him, and I showed it to him one night. I used to fuck with him all the time, oh, man. but I was the only one. And but then, so I kept begging him to go to net care, and he refused to go for for months and months and months. So I went and got him probated. Said we're going to Amy's Donuts. Yeah. <laughs> well, but that's because you weren't home when I went to take you to Amy's Donuts. I made a date with him. To, I was like, I'll take you to Amy's, and then we're gonna go to. Net care afterwards. He's sure. like, you know what, Drew? I'll be there. So I went to his house at 11 o'clock, like I was supposed to, and uh, he wasn't there. That'll where he nice. was was he was at the That'll casino. Nice, or was that? The yeah. Was that the same night? Yep. And the casino called in on a trespasser, and it was him. <laughs> so I get there, and he comes out, probably drunk and cracked out. I don't know about drunk. Yeah, I didn't like alcohol. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and he had like some food and stuff with him. He hit, he hops in my car. He's like, all right. He's like, let's go get some donuts. And yeah, I was like, nope, you weren't home. We're not getting donuts right now. And uh, man, he threw, you had like sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. He threw them all over the back of my car. Trying to get him through the cage. He was trying to, yeah, he was saying that he was going to kick me in the teeth if I opened the back door. We had to. You were having about six or seven of them So I called for backup. And then he wasn't, he was never a problem, but he ran his mouth like a motherfucker. Yeah, I did. And I said, I did a whole lot of this. And she was trying to get him. Yeah. And then I think he just took the pills, though. I don't think they gave oh, you a shot. No, I think they Did they? You ended, up, you ended up putting up with it, though. Uh, but no, that's then my Three best. weeks later, I see him and a female driving down through there when he was walking back down Grace or something towards Steel. And, uh, and he said, hey, he said, what the? He said, come here. He said, we're going to Amy's now. So we actually yeah. did go to Amy's. I did take him. But I got said, the picture. He said, uh, so what'd they say? I said, motherfucker, they took me to Twin. Valley and yeah. stayed two weeks. I said, what do you think they said? Yeah. But O'Han said, he said, man, he said, you never did give me a problem. He said, you, uh, he said, there were some times when you really didn't want to talk or nothing. You were just quiet. He yeah. said, but he said, you never give me any problems. He said, You're, he said, one time he'd be a SOB, the next time he was a good guy. Yeah. Said, well, when he caught him for shooting at me. You know, I, I vaguely remember. Marathon, yeah. They, they, they shot at me one night right in the middle of Sullivan. Well, what'd you do to him? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I uh, suppose, I guess she died, man. Erica, so really American. Oh, really? Back here, back here in Wedgwood. They said a month or two ago she overdosed. Huh. That was weird, too, but I've been thinking about her. But, uh, not that sucks. Party with her, but, yeah. But, uh, I had been with her the night before. That was the last time I party, June 5th of uh, 2020. Really? Went to jail the next day. That's from a Friday day, June 6th of 2020. I'm going to ask you what yeah. made you get clean. What did um, it for you? Man, you know what? Well, I went. Judge Moorhart made me sit down there for 38 days. And then, like July 13th or something, 2020. Yeah. She said you need to get out of Columbus. She sent me to um, Recovery Council down in Waverly, Pike, Pike County. Yeah. And um, yeah, went down there. It was supposed to be 90 days, but uh, <laughs> I ended up staying for 120. We, yeah, we had a uh, Whitehall officer come out to the Pierce Center. They got 4177 East Broad come out and talk and uh, I said you know what I, I raised my hand and I said you know what I want to thank you guys I said I'll get cheered up man <laughs> you guys put yourself you put your life on the line every day and um, the only reason that the only reason we say you're a mother dickhead fuck the police is because you catch us doing shit that we shouldn't be doing you know mm -hmm. we're mad at you because we get caught